FBI uh, information for Senator Feinstein and myself is directly from Mike Feinbach. He's the assistant director of the Counterterrorism Center uh, in Washington. He says it's not completely confirmed, it's not from the FBI, but that intelligence staff believes there is some connection to ISIS. You heard him mention this other shooting. That was the shooting of the singer Christina Grimmie, uh, who was a contestant on The Voice. Uh, she was shot dead, 22-year-old, in Orlando the night before uh, this shooting. Um, the authorities identified her shooter as a, and saying it was a premeditated attack and again no indication there that that had anything to do uh, with with terrorism and that attack but they both happened in Orlando. The interesting nugget here is that Nelson is saying that this particular attack has some tie to Islamic radicalism and specifically ISIS. Our own Catherine Herridge is reporting that counterterrorism sources who track jihadi traffic on the internet uh, tell Fox News that within the hour of the siege, senior al-Qaeda uh, telegram account began celebrating that attack. Uh, since ISIS leadership accounts have taken over the hashtag for the Pulse attacks ever since that point, uh, there has no, been a f no official claim of responsibility, but the suspect, we're told, was on MySpace and Facebook, but those patient pages are now down. The feds are going through the suspect's social media profile. Investigators are looking at the father and possible connections to an outside group. You may remember that we also talked about ISIS making a threat over the internet, a specific threat of an attack in Florida, mentioning Florida by name. Uh, don't know if that is connected as of yet, but right now, that's what we're looking at. President Obama was briefed about the shooting early on by his Homeland Security and Counterterrorism Advisor. The White House says in a statement that the president directed federal officials to provide any necessary assistance to pursue the investigation and support the community. Kristen Fisher 